Lam Lambert ordered you out? Just like that? My daughter was dead. And how does that take precedence over matters of national security? It doesn't. So you agree Lambert made a judgment error? I won't answer that. Fine. So the little information you did recover from Iceland told you that what was stolen from Rahim Kadir was not a weapon at all. It was red mercury, right? Yes. An explosive substance which, when added to small doses of plutonium, can easily create a two kiloton bomb the size of a baseball. And you and Lambert lost it. We had a lead, Emile Dufresne. He tried to buy the red mercury before it was stolen. So Lambert decided to infiltrate Dufresne's organization, hoping he'd take another shot at getting his hands on the red mercury. That's why he sent you in, undercover on American soil, clearly exceeding the NSA's mandate. Our mandate is to protect American citizens. The CIA was dragging its feet. It was us or nobody. But to infiltrate Dufresne's organization, you needed a way in. And you found it at Ellsworth Penitentiary. Hey, Sam. You ready for this? Yeah. Just give me a minute. I'll meet you out back. But you better step on it. Come on. The hell are you waiting for? Man, I am so psyched. I can feel it all coming together. I just can't wait to see my buddies in the JBA again. You should come along too, once we break out of here. How soon do we make our move? Don't rush the plan, Jamie. That's the quickest way things can go wrong. Yeah, I hear you. So what's the next step? Last time we grabbed the walkie-talkie. Where to this time? I'm going back to the guard booth. What's the point of having only one walkie-talkie? We each need one in case we get separated during the escape. Still got the lockpick? Yep. Good. Let me give you a boost. Jamie, you there? I got the goods. Good, but you better fly back to your cell because they're about to do a count. If they see you missing from your bunk, we're in trouble. On my way.
time. One hour. Way to be, Sam. Glad you came back in time. Me too. Look out. Here's the guard. Okay, apes. It's playtime. Don't do anything too stupid. Fisher, you have a visitor. Follow me. Hello, Sam. How are you? Could be worse. And how's Jamie Washington? Fine, we've become best pals in the last three weeks. So the mission is on track? It is. He's already talking about introducing me to his friends in the JBA. Particularly the boss, Emile Dufresne. How are things on your end? Rough. Most people at Third Echelon still believe the setup and think you've gone rogue. But Assistant Director Williams isn't one of them anymore. We did some digging. Found out that we're trying to locate the Red Mercury by infiltrating Dufresne's organization. Now he's looking for an excuse to pull the plug. How did he find out? That was my fault, Sam. He managed to get his hands on the list of buyers you recovered from Iceland. Then I need to break out with Jamie. Now. Why do you think I'm here? Tonight's the night. Another Splinter Cell team is sneaking inside. They'll provide you with all the cover you need to get out. PDA on the counter has the prison's layout on it. Take it. Thanks. Anything else? Three things. I ran a check on Barnum, the man you said Washington wants dead. Whatever happens, you cannot let Barnum die. He's an important witness for the Department of Justice. Second. Near the morgue, you'll find a hidden disk with information on Washington from the prison's computers. It may help you later on. Final point, and I can't strike can't this one enough, Sam. No casualties. You're going to be on a thin moral tightrope. The JBA has to trust you, but so does the assistant director. If the JBA suspects you are a traitor, or if Williams thinks you are playing too risky, then it's over either way. Every decision you make will have consequences. It's not an easy situation for you, but I wouldn't trust the Red Mercury to anyone else. Good luck, Sam. I'll keep in touch from time to time through your cochlear implant. You could use a spotter, Washington. Bring it Too bad you got on me instead. Mother. Barnum! Stay out of this! Not a chance. Get off him. Now. Wait your turn, Fisher. There's enough beatings to go around. I always cut in line. All three of you. Go to the wall. And put your hands against it now. You just made a big mistake. We're gonna have to hold you off the country when I get through with you. Well, now that I've got him, what do I do with him? Jamie hates this guy. I'll kill him, I'm Jamie's best buddy for life, which is good for the mission. That's it. You asked for this. Are you okay? <coughs> Never mind me. <coughs> Finish him off. He's got gas. <coughs> Knockout gas. Fisher. Yo, Fisher. Can you hear me? Hey, Fisher. Thanks for saving my ass. I bet you the Barnum's in one piece. I'm not that interested in his ass life. I have a problem with violence. Me too. I keep on starting it. You think we set off the ride out there? A man can breathe. Maybe we can bust out of here, you know? A little fun. Check it out. He has a gun. I'll take it. 
No way, Sam. I can't trust you to use it, not after the way you went soft on Barnum. I'll hold on to it, and instead you can have our lock. I left it on. Just a sec, Sam. If we get shot or something, we should have some of the docks adrenaline surges. Now, there should be some around here. Jamie, wait. Ah, 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 ah,
Jamie, quiet. You're gonna give away my position. Almost there. Just keep cool. What the hell is Washington doing in the gas chamber? Mackey's guys chased him in there. They were gonna kill him, but all their friends wanted a piece of the guy. So I activated the magnetic lock to protect him. They'd have to turn it off up here to open the door down there. You locked him in there to keep him alive? Room's airtight. How's he supposed to breathe? Oh, crap. Is that... I thought I saw something. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna die in there. Thanks, Fisher. Don't mention it. That's nice. But let's concentrate on getting out of here first. Oh, sure, Sam.
I've been thinking. Once we're outside, everyone will still be looking for us. You're a smart guy. You think maybe you can go into the prison records and fake our deaths or something? It's just a thought. Someone moving around out there? Who? I don't know who. That's why I'm worried. What was that? I think I saw it too. The sweet taste of liberty. I owe you big for this, Sam. You know that offer I made you on the inside is still good. Tell me more about your friends. Emile Dufresne. He founded the JBA. That's short for John Brown's Army. Emile's a man with ideas and vision, and the will to make them reality. You know what I mean? Sounds exactly like what I'm looking for. Great, come on. We got a long ways to go to New Orleans. 